Hey, this is the Swedish guitar nerd again. Um, new review and a new haircut. Uh, yeah. This is my second attempt at reviewing this guitar. I've actually recorded one of the Marvel review before. But my camera was out of focus. <laughs> well, and I noticed that after I returned the guitar. So, well, let's hope it goes better this time. Okay, what do we have today? We have, uh, from request, uh, the Epiphone G310. Uh, Why it's called G310, I have no clue. It is obviously an SG. It even says so on the Trust Road cover, so... If anyone out there knows why it's called the G310, I don't understand the numbers either, so... I suppose the G is for guitar. And yeah, the SG originally was a design that Gibson came up with uh, uh, after the success of the Les Paul model. And originally it was even called, the SG was actually called Les Paul model as well. But since Mr. Les Paul didn't really like that design, they had to remove his name from it. And uh, then they changed the name to SG, Solid Body Guitar. Um, yeah. So this is a version of it. Um, okay, let's go through the features. At the top we have Grover Tuners. What do you know? <laughs> Proper, good, working, decent tuners. I love them. They are really good. Um, yeah, we have a mahogany neck and a Rosewood fretboard. And it's bolted to the body. Not a common thing. Uh, two humbuckers and your regular tunematic bridge. Three-way switch, volumes and tones, an output jack and a mahogany body. A rather slim one. And that's it. Um, and yeah, well, there's nothing out of the ordinary besides it being bolt on, and bolt ons are the best construction. You heard me talk about this before. So, materials and hardware a seven, it's nothing special. I, of course, would love the neck to be maple. It would have been more durable, and that's the uh, part we're getting to now. Uh, the tuners, well, you can't go wrong with Grovers. Uh, really good stuff, uh, work really well, stay in tune very well, and will last. Uh, as usual uh, with the Gibson guitars, there's no volute here, and uh, this is where their next break and. Uh, why can't they do it right? Uh, the strange thing is I've seen the new uh, Ace Freely model. It actually has a volute here, extra wood below uh, the nut. So obviously they can't do it. So I don't know why they aren't. We have, I think, the same neck actually as uh, on the Les Paul Special 2. It has the exact same dimensions. I've just pick them both up and try them. And uh, yeah. What else? Uh, the lock tone bridge. Um, I've talked about it in my Epiphone Dot review. I like that. And uh, yeah. It's a um, workhorse, uh, I think. Yeah, and it's... Yeah, it seems reliable. Um, it came... Um, uh, actually, since this is my second review, uh, when I tried the last time, the same guitar, the fret ends weren't that decent. And um, yeah, the slots on the nut aren't really perfect either. They are The strings tend to get a bit caught in them. So, since this is, of course, I mean, it's the, like the next second, uh, the second cheapest SG model you can find. 
in the Gibson range. So it's of course uh, something they don't pay as much attention to as other guitars. So build quality and durability wise it gets a 7. Playability. Um, I like this neck. Uh, it just feels right and uh, it has just enough amount of wood to it and uh, yeah it fits my hands at least very flat radius uh, jumbo frets and um, yeah there are some uh, things that make this guitar better than regular SG's um, for instance you get uh, higher up here and you there is actually less wood hindering you with the bolt on that's strange usually it's the other way around um, and since they have the the um, strap pin here it's one of the screws that attach the neck uh, that actually makes uh, the guitar more um, mm, balanced when it's strapped on. And the neck goes further into the body, because usually you have a um, SG neck further out. And all of this makes it much more playable than a regular SG. So, And it's a bolt-on, that's better. So... I like this design better than the re regular SG, actually. So playability, an 8. Electronics, uh, yeah, we have the usual pickups you find on the cheaper Epiphone models. It's the 650R uh, in the neck position and the 700T in the bridge. Uh, they are ceramic pickups. Um... Yeah, I'll get to the sounds later and uh, talk more about that. Uh, Three-way switch works perfectly. Uh, the volumes, no problem. And then we have the same problem as with the Epiphone Dot. Uh, the tone knobs uh, aren't really doing what they are supposed to. Uh, most of the range from it's got from 0 to 10. And most of the way, nothing happens, and then at the end, it, everything happens, and it happens all too much, and it's not very usable. You like to have a tone, the things you can do with a, when a tone knob works, you can just back off a bit of the tone and get a softer, more, I don't know, violin sounding uh, thing going. And you can't with this, because they, yeah. They turn it off too much and or too little. Uh, there should be a range of, and I don't know why they aren't doing it right. So electronics, a five. <laughs> 